Hi everyone. I have got my book of the month club. Who would think I would hold it upside down? I never do that, right? So I have got my book of the month club. I'm a little behind. This is from August. I still have September that I haven't opened yet. And I just ordered my October ones this morning. So we are going to try to get through this sweet and fast. I've got my ghoulish friends to kind of help me. My little zombie friend over here. He was a little jealous that I brought some friends in. So we have to give him a little hat to make him feel special. So we got my ghoulish friends to help. I've got some caramel apple coffee from my Bones Coffee. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. Oh, it just means so much to me and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos today. Yeah, I'm a little behind. We are doing my August book of the month club and I'm trying to get this done before it gets too dark so I can read my notes as you can see behind me we've got some fall colors going on in the woods behind me and I've got some ghoulish friends my friend Alexa said it's going to start raining in about 15 minutes so we're going to try to get through this a little bit faster I have got and I know you saw me open this I've only got like five of these left this was really good so I've got my bones coffee my caramel apple coffee and I got it in here with just a little bit of whipped cream and some caramel sauce I just heated this up I'm good to go so cheers everyone I hope that you're all having a great weekend hmm you know what I did forget though I forgot my 31 days of Halloween so I'll have to grab that at the end so anyway, this coffee is really good. Um, if you get a chance to get it, I'll leave the bone site um, listed below. And um, it, that way, if, you, if this is a flavor you might like, I know that this is a limited edition for the season. So I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last. And we have got the Book of the Month Club. So I got two books this month. Well, August, yeah, I got two books. One of them I'm really excited about, even though I just um, read someone's review watch someone's review that wasn't quite her cup of tea so I'm hoping that it's something I will like. One is by Alice Beanie and I've read one of her books before. This one is Daisy Daka and the one that I was most excited about but the one that didn't wasn't their cup of tea and that was Kristen from Moments of Sanctuary. She's got a second channel called Enter the Book. I'm going to leave her link below because she is the one that when I just wasn't able to get back into reading and I just kept watching her reviews. And one day it just barked and said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get back into reading. I'm gonna break through whatever it is that was holding me back. And she gives the most awesome, awesome reviews. So Kristen, Moments of Sanctuary is her main channel, which she did more unboxings. And then she's got Enter the Book, which is all book related reviews and unboxings of books and book tags, things like that. So she's awesome. She's an awesome lady, I hope you like her. Oh my gosh, it's a bat. <sighs> it's always something. But you know, he goes with my Halloween theme. So, you know, maybe my, my zombie friends drew him out. So anyway, for the Book of the Month Club, I'll have my link below as well. If you use my link, I know sometimes they say it's $5. Some people say they got $9.99. So I don't know if it just runs specials every now and then. But my link will give you that discounted option to get your first book for either $5 or $9.99. After that, it's $14.99 if you choose to get it. I've skipped months, months at a time. I picked books that weren't in the Book of the Month Club, the ones that they picked for me for the month. And it's just really flexible, easy enough to skip, pick another book. If you do grab the Book of the Month Club, you can always grab another one or two or three or four. Yeah, it's a really fun way to build your collection. And there's one that I'm eyeing, and I think it's one I've I think I, I already forgot what I ordered this morning. Is that crazy? You know, you can remember something from 20 years ago, but what did you order this morning? Jeez, I don't know. But it was, I think it was like the third or fourth in the series. So it was about the Salem Witches. So I'm looking forward to that one. So let's do this first one, the one that really grabbed my attention. So this is Small Angels, and it's a novel by Lauren Owen. 
and it's the wo the woods are stirring again and this will be perfect if I get around to reading it this month. So I did because I'm not going to do all the other books to try to keep it fast. Um, for the two books I got, I put down, typed out the, well, copied and pasted, the synopsis and then one of the reviews on it. So that should go a little bit faster than doing five books, right? So anyway, Small Angels, it's a gothic fiction, which I think the Hacienda was a gothic fiction. And oh my God, I am still talking about that book. I just loved it so much. So anyway, the quick take is in the small village where even the trees have secrets. A wedding reunites old friends and awakens ghosts of the past. As a teenager, Kate found a safe harbor from her parents' constant fighting in the company of the four gone sisters who lived with their strict grandparents next to Small Angels, a church on the edge of a dense green woods the first outsider to ever get close to the sisters. Kate eventually learned the family's secret. The woods are home to capricious, menacing ghosts whom generations of guns had been charged with stopping from venturing into the village itself. But as the sisters grew older, braver, and more independent, bucking against the family's burden, the bulwark began to crack culminating in a horrifying act of violence that drove a terrible wedge between the sisters and Kate. Chloe had been planning her dream wedding for months. She has the dress, the flowers, the perfect venue, small angels, a charming old church in the village where her fiance Sam and his sister Kate grew up. But days before the ceremony, Chloe starts to hear unsettling stories about small angels. And worse, she begins to see and smell and hear things that couldn't possibly be real. Now Kate is returning home for the first time in years and for Sam and Chloe's wedding. But the woods are coming alive again. And Kate must reconnect with Lucia, Lucia the most troubled of the sisters and her first love to protect Chloe, the village, and herself. An unforgettable novel about the memories that hold us back and those that show us the way forward. This is storytelling at its most magical. Enter Small Angels, if you dare. Alrighty, so that was um, what I guess the reader wrote or whatever. But this is from someone who read the book and reviewed it and why I love it. A few months back, my wife and I were taking a walk through a secluded patch of woods near our home. A rustling in the bushes, an odd shadow stretching across the ground, a strange bird cry. I'm not sure exactly what caused it, but an unsteady, steadying feeling came over me and I found I needed to share. I began to tell my wife some of the details of the novel I'd been reading about a haunted feeling, family, a mysterious presence in an old woods and vines that move when you're not looking and wrap around your neck. The book was Lauren Owen's Small Angels. My wife told me, perhaps you'd tell me more about this book once we're back at home, not maybe stuck in the middle of the woods. Small Angels is a novel that will stick with you creeping along the back of your mind long after you finished with prose that sings and a dark and twisting mystery that's steadily revealed. Small Angels is certainly a page turner. The novel itself has the same quality as those of old ghost tales that we are compelled to tell each other late at night as children. Something about the story strikes an eerie chord inside us and we find the need to share, which is to say, I'd love for you to read this book too. Small Angels is a gripping story of heartache about the bravery to love in the face of fear. And it's a beautiful and unsteadying treasure. I know, doesn't that sound good? And I do love books like this. I love mysteries and something with maybe a little magical, some, something fantasy in it, something that kind of gets 
year, like a little horror and a thriller all in one. So I am really looking forward to checking that out. I just have to get through the book I'm reading now, and I haven't picked it up in a couple of months. Yeah, no, I can do these spells, I guess. So this next one is Alice Feeney, and it's Daisy Daka. So the quick take is, crumbling estate, check. Bundle of family secrets, check. Folks getting picked off like flies, check. Trust no one. Alrighty, so after years of avoiding each other, Daisy Daka's entire family is assembling for Nana's 80th birthday party and Nana's crumbling gothic house on a tiny tidal island. Finally, back together one last time when the tide comes in, they will be cut off from the west rest of the world for eight hours. The family arrives, each of them harboring secrets. Then, at the stroke of midnight, as a storm rages, Nana is found dead. And an hour later, the next family member follows. Trapped on an island where someone is killing them one by one, the Dakas must reckon with their present mystery as well as their past secrets before the tide comes in and all is revealed. Alrighty. And so the review on this um, was actually by the author of 56 Days and I read that book and that was about how the pandemic started over in Ireland and the perfect murder or whatever was from these people that were isolated from the rest of the world. Really good book. I loved it. So this review is by that author. So that was Catherine Ryan Howard. So anyway, being a mystery and thriller writer is my dream job, but it has ruined my great love, reading mysteries and thrillers. I find it impossible to stop scrutinizing the mechanics and relax and enjoy them like I used to, unless they're written by Alice Freeney. In Daisy Daka, the estranged Daka family reluctantly gathers at Nana's dilapidated coastal cottage to mark her 80th birthday. Sea glass stands alone on a tiny tidal island. At high tide, the darkers will be stuck together and cut off from the rest of the world for a long eight hours. But just as Nana's 80-strong quirky clock collection chimes midnight, she's found dead. An hour later, someone else is dead. Low tide is still five hours away. Who of the darkers will survive until then? The novel has a truly gasp-inducing twist. Some readers may say it breaks the rules, but I say, let's smash them all into smithereens if it is to this spectacular of an effect. What I particularly love about Feeney's writing is that her twists are always only the garnish, never the main meal. Even if you guess it or suspect it, there's still so much deliciousness to enjoy in her clever, stylish, and utterly gripping novels. Fans of Sarah Pinbarrow and Riley Sager, and I've read some of Riley Sager's books, love those, those thrillers, please make your way to Sea Glass before the tide comes in. Unless, unlike the darker family, you won't regret it. I know, so those are the kind of books that I really love. I remember growing up, um, I used to... Oh, I'm trying to remember. It was Patricia Matthews or something. It was like love, romantics, historical, things like that. And uh, Mary Higgins Clark and Patricia Cromley. I think one of her series was uh, about, um, I'm trying to think of the word, like a lab technician, crime person that goes through the clues and comes up with the killer and things like that. And that's what I wanted to do. But yeah, I couldn't go to college because my father said, girls don't go to college. Girls go to college for one thing, to meet a husband, and it's money out the window, you're not going. Yeah. So little did I know that, you know, I really could have paid for it myself, right? But yeah, who thinks about that back when, when you're a kid? But so those were the kind of books I liked and the romantic ones and thrillers and things like that. And I think I'm just kind of evolving now and getting into more mysteries and thrillers and horrors. I really like a good scare. Um, Stephen King and um, Rick used to love Stephen King and um, Dean Koontz. But he wasn't really a fast reader. You know, he was just kind of stumble over the words. So I always had to read them out loud to him, which so I guess that's how I kind of fell in love with that book those kind of books because that's what 
I always did. I always read out loud to him every night, and especially towards the end when he was um, be afraid to close his eyes. And I guess when you get to a certain point um, with dementia and anxiety and things like that, he would be afraid that if he closed his eyes, he would never be able to open them again. If he breathed in, what happens if he breathed out and he couldn't breathe back in again? So you kind of have to deal with that and just reading those books, kind of keeping his mind occupied is what kept me going too. But anyway, before I get too much longer and the rain starts, because Alexa says it's going to rain, I'm going to show you these books again. Alice Beanie, Daisy Daka, and Small Angels by Lauren Owen. Looking forward to reading these. Maybe I will try to get the other books in just for Halloween month, right? So I can kind of dress up and get them done and opened. But I'm going to go get my 31 days of Halloween. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee, take some things in before it rains, and I'll be right back. But before I go, I will show you my Halloween outfit today. So it's just a t shirt here. We've got some glitters here on the shoulder. I'm just happy. Halloween. This is from Amazon. This hat, I got like a three pack from Amazon, maybe $9.99. This little headband clips. That's what my zombie friend is wearing. I should have put the orange one on him because the black one's disappearing. So I will be right back with my candy of the day. Alrighty, so I'm back. And again, I've got my 31 days of Halloween. I'm not going to be doing a video every day this month <coughs> because I just frankly don't have the energy. But. Anyway, so every time I do a video this month, I will just open the next door in line. Um, depending on when I edit it, you may see door 31 before you see door 1. Who knows, right? So, anyway, this is from Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And yeah, so I'm so glad that they sent me an email. And for a donation of $31 or more, you would get this limited edition. 31 days of Halloween until it ran out. I don't know if they still have any left, but I hope that they reach out to me again next year. And if they have one for Christmas, I would love that too. So this is what it looks like. And so the one we are going to open, I probably shouldn't even worry about it since I have no idea what days I'm going to be doing it, but I'm trying to keep it in sequence. So it's going to be door number three can figure out how to get in door number three. Door number three does not want to open. Okay, we got it. It's like an egg or something. What the heck is this? Kinder Joy. Let's open door number three. Again, that's what this looks like. One days the small candies. So this is Kinder Joy. I've never heard of Kinder Joy. So it's sweet cream topped with cocoa wafer bits. It is a choking hazard. Yeah. I'm going to check this out, right? And I will be very, very careful. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So now it's like little foil things, a little spatula maybe. They don't make it easy to get into. I'll tell you that. Anyway, I am going to probably try to post this midweek. I don't know what I'm going to post in between. So I got one open. It looks like cream with nuts. Oh, maybe you're supposed to make something. And then this is like Snap-on toys, maybe. So you must make something with this. And and maybe this is the food part. So that must be the chocolate wafer, right? And some kind of cream. Okay, it's like vanilla frosting. You can look for that. Okay, I'm going in. It's scary candy. What happened to this candy that looks ordinary? Mmm. It's like a malted milk ball. 
Okay. I can live with that. That's better than I thought it would be. See, I get scared so easy. Anyway. Getting darker. It's about 67. Feels really nice out here. I can hear... Maybe crickets. I don't know. This noise is out there. But... It's a perfect night for coming out here, spending a little bit of time with you, and now to get all these things in before it rains, because if it doesn't rain, I'm going to have a fight with it, telling me that it's going to rain and making me rush. But anyway, I hope everyone has a great Halloween month. Uh, it's just such a fun time of year. I hope to come out again. Of course, you can't see the colors anymore behind me as the colors start to change and try to show you a little bit of what that's like out here and uh, yeah so we will all see each other later thanks so much for watching i hope you guys give this video a thumbs up your comments of course are always welcome and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed again i'm going to have kristen link below her series under the book if you are into books and just want to know a little bit more about them she oh my gosh she reads a ton of books she gives you awesome reviews she doesn't do spoilers so it, it just she's fantastic so yeah i hope you check her out so anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun love you guys see you in the next